We are the channel 58 News team at 6.39 every day. Let's go straight into weather with Hickory Boyle. Hickory? This is Listeria monocytogenes. Now, as you can see, you have a bacteria here and it is multiplying over here. Now, we're expecting in the next 20 minutes to see this over here come towards this bacteria. And we might see a little bit of revolving motion around here, and we expect this to reside to nothing pretty soon. Thank you, that was a very interesting report, Hickory. Now we go to our reporter in the field, Clyde Van Lichtenstein. Clyde? Thanks, Jim. Today we're in California in a densely populated area. We're going to be walking around interviewing people about the deadly bacterial disease, Listeria monocytogenes, also called Listeriosis. Let's go find some interviewees. We now have our first interviewee having to do with Listeriosis, his name Frank O'Callaghan. Frank, what do you think about this disease that has infected your sister? Well, my sister, as you know, has this disease of bacteria, and as a kid, her favorite foods was ice cream and raw meats. She got this, and I decided to do some research on it. Oh, did ya? I figured out that the highest percentage of this listeria is in pregnant women, and when it's in pregnant women, the fetuses have yellowed skin and yellow eyes, and they die. <laughs> That's unusual and unfortunate. I'm here today after our interview with Frank O'Callaghan, and I've done some research on this topic of my own, finding out how interesting it is. I realized 6,000 people are infected with this disease per year in the United States, and 415 of them die. This disease is not kidding around. So here are some ways to prevent the disease. One, don't eat much cheese. But I like cheese. Do you want to end up like Dick Smithers over there with his name on the tombstone? Don't no. eat cheese. You can eat some cheese, I'm just joking, but seriously. Next is the cooked chicken well. You don't want to you want to make sure the centerpiece of the chicken is cooked thoroughly so then when you eat it, it's not still bacterialized. And thirdly, make sure when you heat up leftovers that they're heated thoroughly and steaming because there's many bacteria that survive in those raw meats or cooked meats. I love rare meat. Oh, fever! Oh, oh. Muscle ache! <coughs> Look at child group caps! As you can see, Dick Smithers had severe headache, diarrhea, lack of balance, and muscle aches. But other symptoms include confusion, nausea, and stiff neck. Wait, what are we talking about? No, I'm just joking, but seriously, that's what they'd act like. Today we have an actually infected person with us named Tanner Smitherson. He's here to talk about the disease. Tanner, I don't want to be too close. He is infected, so I'm going to... I was diagnosed with it, and the doctor told me that it was anywhere from three days to two weeks. I don't like having diarrhea that long. I wouldn't either. That would be uncomfort uncomfortable. You don't even know. Here's a fun fact. The incubation period for this disease could last anywhere from two to 70 days, with the average being 21. You think that's fun? I, look, I'm sorry. Overall, this day has been unfortunate for us to learn about this outbreak in California. It's very bad. We need to find out a way to fix it. Back to you, Jim. Thanks, Claude. That was our most recent on the California 1985 Bacteria Fest. You know what that story does to me, Larry? What? It just lowers my spirits. I understand. I cried once, too. Well, now signing off, I'm Jim Brickstein, and I'm Larry Mossyfeet. See you later.